Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Stetsenko. I'm a third year graduate student here at TCU, and this is an exhibition walkthrough of my thesis show, A Place for My Things. All of the work in the exhibition consists of image transfer drawings on stretched, translucent fabric, working from laser jet printed photographs that I've taken and accumulated over time I use a solvent-based image transfer method to literally draw with the toner from the printed photograph. In other words, the pressure from my drawing utensil on a solvent-soaked photograph produces a print of my drawing on the surface of the fabric. In this body of work, I'm mostly using those photographs for their use of color. However, in some cases, I do transfer part of the image where maybe I wanted to add part of that image directly into the drawing. The drawings are very simple, quick, doodle-like drawings that vary in size and saturation. Although I like to work intuitively, I do consider the organization and hierarchy of the images that I draw. In some cases, the accumulation of the smaller drawings overlapping each other and fading into each other actually defines something larger. Like, for example, the shadow of the ceiling fan is actually a cluster of several smaller drawings. That piece is titled Ceiling Fan, and it's the last piece in this walkthrough. Another example can be found in a piece titled Bathtub. One of the largest pieces in the show, it's six feet by four feet. In that piece, I describe the bathtub as a dense cluster of drawings on the bottom of the frame below the bathroom tile. The work in this exhibition is using a sense of place to talk about a sense of self. I use the concept of home as a way to explore my own mental well-being. I reference a lot of my own furniture and objects found within my personal space as stand-ins for a mental, emotional space. Within each piece, I describe that mental space as a repository of objects and memories. Working on a fabric that is so translucent, it allows me to draw on both sides of the material. While the drawings on the back are still visible through the fabric, like a memory, they fade in readability. The configuration of these drawings define a psychological atmosphere, which is only emphasized when the fabric is stretched over a frame. I wanted that space and the drawings within them to feel contained. However, they are free to wrap around the frame and drift into the back of the work. Some of the work is embellished with thread as a way of uniting layers together the thread acts as a different kind of line embedded within the fabric. It's a slower, repetitious, more meditative form of drawing for me that complements the more immediate form of transfer drawing. The sewing is a way for me to literally slow down within my own practice and thinking about creating this feeling of home through my actions I think the meditative act of sewing accomplishes that. You'll notice that the exhibition is fairly quiet and peaceful. Most of the work has lots of space within the frame of the work and between each other. If I'm thinking about drawing from my mental space and what I really want to take away from it, it's space. It's room to breathe within the work, but also within the gallery as a whole. During the curation of the exhibition, I wanted to emphasize that kind of space by leaving the main area of the gallery open, leaving or giving the viewer an opportunity to view the work from a distance. Ultimately, my hope is that these pieces, as subtle as they are, invite the viewer in to linger close to the work. A lot of this work requires close looking to be able to notice some of the drawings or the addition of the thread that you just won't notice even four feet away from the piece. My hope is that the viewer feels encouraged to be intimate with the work, considering the work is describing such an intimate space. And lastly, um, I decided to title the exhibition A Place for My Things because I felt it was at the same time specific and ambiguous. Um, one could read the title as a physical place for my things, my belongings, my furniture, and yet on the other hand, 
a place for my things could be a metaphysical place for emotions and memories. Thank you very much for watching, and bye.